to the channel and today we are gonna be doing fan art for the Yarn of Dawn Yarn of the Dawn by Ms. Girl Kazungai. I seriously do not know how to pronounce her name. If you know, please mention it down below. So moving on. So first things first. I'm gonna be doing fan art for this book. And second thing, I'm, I'm, I am going to start doing shout-outs in my videos. And if you want to be shout-outed by Chowdified, that's totally a new word now. Just comment down below, hashtag Podification Squad, and you may have a chance. And it's not going to be every single video, just every once in a while. And nobody's getting double shout-out. Shout-out. And yeah, hit the like button and subscribe to the channel to see more content and hit the bell to see to be notified when I upload. So let's just roll right into it. Da 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 Being weird. So I think I'm gonna be doing a and before we actually start drawing, I'm actually going to read you guys the back little pet on another one that's actually readable. Just the word spot for the library book. But princess Siona lives an ideal life as the only princess ever kind of. Do doted on by her father, the king, and protected by her faithful guard, Hunk, she cherishes the time spent with the man she loves to want. But everything changes on her 16th birthday when tra tragedy strikes her family. While on the run, th they put that on the back of every book and then they put a brief description of the book. So, you can pause the video if this will come in focus. Don't make it look in focus. But yeah, I got these at the library. Just search them up on the internet, put it on a piece of paper, but it's Yawn of the Dawn. Awesome book. And so, I'm actually going to be doing fan art for the one I'm reading at the moment, number two. And since it's very Japanese, I'm just going to start on the head. Some of the things I like about these books, the book series, is that she is a princess and she doesn't know what it's like outside. She's very kind hearted and her. Okay. You guys may. No. You know what? Never mind. English. She is very kind hearted and passionate and she has her own little sense of humor. She's not mean or rough. And she worries about her hair a lot. And these books are a graphic novel, as in they are comics, Japanese comics. And they're read the other way around. They're read right to left. Words and sentences are going to be read the same way, just the bubbles you would read it the other way around. Like, example. At the back of the book, they have this. But here's first, second, and that's how you read it. And again, I like these books. And this is not sponsored. I, I just like the books. And I thought it'd be fun to do fan art. And so what I'm doing is... This kind of... Just working on the head at the moment, and so basically when I and I and so what I do is I start with a circle and then I base like what the chin area is gonna be, because basically the upper part of people's heads you just gotta adjust the. You can make an oval if their head's just really long or something. Yeah, if it's just crazy long.
Um, so, I want to tell you guys some other books I like to read. Since kind of going on that theme, I like reading Harry Potter, the Little House series. Um, you guys probably knew I liked Harry Potter since, well, my channel name is Harry Potter Banner. And I also like, um, So Cute It Hurts, uh, la, 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 The Babysitter's Club, okay, so the funny thing about The Babysitter's Club is that they're, like, it was written, like, a couple of decades ago, <laughs> Like, towards like the late 90s ish. And they've turned it into like a graphic novel, colored novel actually. I've seen them. Um, I like this one, which is just black and white. They are actually colored novels. And. Yeah, but they also have the actual booked formed ones too and they're amazing uh, what else was I gonna say um, so okay guys quick question what Harry Potter house are you in I'm a personally a Ravenclaw. Um, that's just me. That's what I get on almost every single quiz. It's it's it's, it's crazy. And there's all and yeah, but yeah, are you Gryffindor? Like, are you Gryffindor, Hufflepuff, Slytherin, or Ravenclaw? Let me know down below. Just, yeah, let me know. Mm. Um, yeah. And I also want to know what kind of books do you like? You like graphic novels, anime, or like what do you like to read? Or do you not like to read at all? Because I know plenty of people who just just like reading. They can, they have the knowledge, they just don't do it in their spare time. Okay, that looks like. Is it just me or does that look like a flubber or whatever? <laughs> And yeah, I think it's a good spot to start on her robes. And a lot of times the Japanese robes are very flowy and big and full of color and pattern. So that's what I'm going to go for. And it's a lot of um, be and I, I love Japan. I want to go to like Tokyo one day. The, the city is just beautiful from what I've seen off the internet. <laughs> Keyword, internet. And I also want to go to Paris one day. That would be beautiful. Or New York. There's all sorts of beautiful places you can go in, these, in our world. It's quite beautiful, really. I, I, I don't know why, it's just gorgeous. <sighs> just trying to make her love look so nice and beautiful and full. Okay. Have any of you guys been to Tokyo? And how, on one thing scale 10, how beautiful is it? Or, I mean, Tokyo, Japan, obviously.
Okay, so. This is what I think about what I'm going to leave her robes at for general shaping. I think is about what her robes are going to be left at. And, yeah. The wind just suddenly picked up. Yeah. That is a beautiful day out today. It is gorgeous. It is utterly gorgeous. It is amazing and beautiful and gorgeous. is beautiful. <laughs> um, but exactly, so, uh, this is a lot better than what I used to draw, like, a, bu a couple of years ago. Like, five years ago. Would you guys like to see me recreate some of my oldest art pieces? Or would you like me to do a like I show you a bunch of art from when I was younger. What would you like? Let me know down below. Yeah. Okay, that is not exactly how it looks in the picture. What? Show over. It's just kind of a soft thing. That is beautiful. Um, so she has a bunch of bangs, like her bangs kind of say kind of the generally same length, kind of through and through. They are quite defined, and that's crazy. So. Doodling, happy. So what I'm doodling is more of like an 11 instead of 16 year old her. That's kind of what I'm going for here. So our bangs are not quite as long as they will be in a couple of years. And yes. So amazing. So amazing. So in the box, her hair is like this very beautiful red color. It is so beautiful. It is so beautiful. Just so beautiful. How many times did I just say beautiful? I don't even know. And um, yeah. So I think that's about it for the doodling. I think I'm just gonna leave it at the scat. Really? At this rate. Um, yeah. Now we get to move on to something more enjoyable and interesting. Are my income beep 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 boom? My twenty-four set of prismos. Ugh. I'm gonna go ahead and pick out the colors in three. Two, one. So her hair is this beautiful, vibrant red color. It is gorgeous. So I'm going to go ahead and take my white and just kind of highlight it in a way that I would highlight. And just kind of going with the natural way the hair is curving. 
<laughs> and I'm just gonna put a layer of this uh, crimson red on top. Just like so. Okay, guys, I have a tip for hair. When you need to highlight your hair, just take your white and put it in the areas you need to highlight before you go over them. Then, if you need it to be lighter, just go over them a second time. With your white pencil. But look how much more highlighted that looks. Yep. Pencil just went flying. Hang on a second. Okay, you guys, we are back. With the Prisma colors of choice. So the ones we have are black, white, those are for shading purposes. We got crimson red, rug pavement, and tungsten red. Or, or, I said that this is actually poppy red. If English people, I said the Spanish version. I am so sorry. And true blue and dark green. You'll see why I need these in a well. When you hit, did you guys ever notice how weird it feels when you tap yourself with a Prisma color versus Crayola? Interesting. So I'm gonna go ahead and color her robe first. So it's just really the screen with the blue on top. Just a little blue. So the color scheme of inspiration is from the third book. See, she is beautiful. And yeah. Now for the darker areas, I'm gonna use these. I'm gonna go ahead and do her hair with these reds. And I'm gonna be using these two for her hair. Wait, wrong one. These two for her hair. And this more lighter one for her robe. Cause there's both red. And they kinda need to be different. So let's get started on the and the coloring. We pencil retrieved. Yay. Question. Do you ever hate it when you're drawing, you're drawing, you set your pencil down to erase something, and then, boom, your pencil rolls off the table and onto the ground. And it's not like, and it just kind of gets right out of, just I'll roll over and grab it. It's just kind of that kind of spot. Yeah, her hair is very beautiful. I'm just gonna kind of shave behind her neck in a darker tone of that color. Just a bit of basic shading and stuff. And just a bit here and there are here. And just kind of take this white and just kind of Uh, I'm just taking the white to blend all the pretty colors together. Like so. And a bit more red to give it that finished red glow. Okay, hang on. It got on my face. Oh, wow. So that is that for the hair, Mr. Crimson Red. Nice having you. But you are good. Next. We're gonna do her skin and lips. Her lips aren't very um, heavily done around, so I'm just gonna kinda take a little pink and just gonna take it right on top of the lips and where the blush will be. Again, the character is not really that heavy in blush in the books or covers, but that's just general art style. Something I feel like you have to balance when it comes to fan art is the actual character design and your art style. 
because like any character you draw might be super heavy and blush and coloring in the cheeks but the character in here may not have those features that you draw on everything yeah everything because I feel like every artist has those things they just draw on everything they draw and it just kind of defines their style, their art. Right. I think I drew her neck a little too long. Oh, well. Oh, well. Oh, well. Shooting the neck. It's really normal skin to color, really. Next, but not. We're just gonna color these hands. Slot little thing that. Doesn't look much like a skin tone at all. <sighs> oh well, don't want the hand, but no one's gonna know. Now I'm gonna take me puppy red and just gonna do a fine layer of that over her. Clothing like so. I have no idea why she's wearing bright she her hair's bright red and her dress is bright red. I don't think I'll get it at all. At Oh. Uh, just going to gently add a bit of shading and highlight this part of the sleeve right along here and right along here I think and I think that's about it I'm just going to kind of erase this spot right over here it's not going to come off perfectly but hey um, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time. And don't forget, if you want to get a shout out in my next video, comment down below, hashtag Potification Squad. See you guys next time. Adios!